An aircraft flew due east from Pete Q at U1 kilometers an hour. Okay, I need to draw a picture. P Q U1 this way. <coughs> Wind speed from the southwest was V. From the southwest means it's going where. Where's this wind actually going? It's going northeast. Okay. Now it's going northeast at 45, which would mean oh fever too. That's that's nice. I'm about to get that. So that's 45, isn't it? And that one is V. So uh, V cos 45 and V sine 45. Put it into the calculator, you get phi over root 2, phi over root 2. Now we just have to mask on properly, please, if possible. Thank you. Now, phi over root 2 and phi over root 2. <coughs> now, on the return journey from Q to P, so uh, scenario 2, we'll just. Uh, sorry. I'll just box this up here and I'll just leave that there. Now scenario two is a different uh, thing altogether. You're on your way back and this time you're on your way back and what's your speed? The aircraft speed was U2, the wind's velocity being unchanged. If the speed of the aircraft was still there was X, Show that by resolving along the perpendicular to PQ or otherwise that U1 minus U2 is V root 2. All right, happy days. Okay, so uh, U2 on the way back, same wind, so the wind is the same for both of them. Now, here's the thing to remember is that the velocity of your plane, the actual velocity of your plane to a stationary observer is the velocity of the plane in still air plus the velocity of the air itself. So this implies that U1 is equal to what? X plus what? Oh! <coughs> Sorry, you're going to excuse me. We're going to actually have to. Uh, yeah. Why can't I just aim straight across with X anyway? Why is that wrong to aim straight across with X? I'm going to get blown upwards, haven't I? So what do I need to do in the first, uh, the first question with the X value? I need to aim down in such a direction that uh, the X value here, and it's essentially V over root 2 down, isn't it? Is that right? Now what can I do with Pythagoras' theorem to find the red part? What can I do there? x squared equals, uh, for argument's sake I'll call it d, x squared equals d squared plus v over root 2 squared. We all good with that? What can I do after that then? Bring it all over one side. So x squared uh, minus v squared over 2 equals d squared. Is that right with you guys? And what's d equal to? Square root of x squared minus, uh, what's it, v over 2, v squared over 2. Is that right? So that's the, uh, that's your actual speed u1, isn't it? Oh, sorry, it's not u1. Uh, u1 is d plus V root 2. Is everybody cool with that? So D plus uh, V root 2 is U1. I'll come to U2 in a second, okay? Just taking up a lot more. So, for those of you that came in late, essentially what we did was we broke up the, uh, the wind into two components. We, we broke up the wind into uh, J component and I component. Then what we realised is that we couldn't go straight across unless we angled X down. And when we angled X down, 
X had to be angled down with, uh, with V root 2. <coughs> so, sorry, X had to be angled down at V root 2. This made the hypotenuse, uh, sorry, this made the adjacent side X squared minus V squared over 2. That combines with the V root 2, V over root 2, to give you your U1 value. So U1 is essentially uh, V root 2 plus uh, X squared minus V squared all over 2. We all good with that so far? Right, now I'm on the return journey. Now the return journey is U2. So this time we're on the way back and we're angling X downwards. Okay. So X is angling downwards like so. Oh sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, downwards. Because the wind is acting north. Okay. So it's the same thing as last time. X is on the hypotenuse. Uh, what's this way? That's uh, still V or 2 acting downwards, isn't it? And therefore, it's the exact same adjacent as last time. We all kill with that. Now, what's the only difference between the way back compared to the way forward? The, wind the wind's acting against me this time. So these two parts are actually acting against each other this time. So that will make a U2. Oh, and that is. It's V over root 2, and then it's going to be 2. Ah, yeah, yeah, we have it, we have it. All good. All good on my end. So. What I'm going to have here is minus v over root 2 because it's going to it's, it's acting against it. I'm just looking for the overall speed here. The direction is inconsequential to me, all right? So then that's going to be plus uh, x squared is v squared over 2. We kill with that. Now we're just talking about speeds here, all right? So both of these are positive numbers. How do I know they're both positive numbers? Generally the wind is slower than the, the speed of the airplane. Okay. Now we're going to do U1 minus U2, which is the two of these taken away from each other. And what happens when you take them away from each other? Yeah, uh, sorry, I made a slight mistake on the second one. Uh, this one here should be just underneath the two, shouldn't it? But either way, they both cancel. And what happens when you add a v root two plus v root two, because two negatives makes a positive? <coughs> two v over root two, and two divided by root two is root two v. Anybody get that far? All right, so it's part two, that's the killer, is it? Okay. <coughs> Prove that u1 multiplied by u2 is x squared minus v squared. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to multiply them both by each other. So I'm going to go back a few steps. Uh, and I'm also going to fix this again. Right, let's multiply the two answers by each other. So that's what u1, u2 means. Multiply the two of them by each other. So it's going to be uh, v over root 2. Uh, plus square root of x squared minus v squared over 2 multiply by minus v over root 2 plus uh, root x squared minus v squared all over 2 okay let's multiply this out is there any point in multiplying out the middle part it's going to be the difference of 2 it's the difference of 2 squares so there's no point in me wasting time multiplying out the middle part when I don't have to, okay? So what's going to be? It's going to be v root 2 multiplied by v over root 2, which is minus v squared over 2. And then I've got to multiply the two of these by each other, which means essentially remove the square root sign. So it's going to be 
x squared minus v squared over 2. Then you have a half v squared minus another half v squared, which is x squared minus v squared. Is that what I was asked to do? Yes, it was. Happy days. If PQ is the distance d, find in terms of v, x, and d the time for the two journeys. All right, lads, this is, uh, I think we're about to get this nicely in a second. Is everybody all right so far? Okay. Now, who got that far? Well, it's just the same four or five of you, probably, okay? Now, <clears throat> I say we probably might even have all different variations of the same answer, I think, is what probably happened here. So, on the way there, we travel the distance d at u1. On the way back, we travel the distance d at speed u2. Time equals distance over speed. This implies that we're doing uh, d over u1 is the time on the way there. d over u2 is the time on the, the way back. Is that cool with you? Alrighty. And it says it wants in terms of v, x, and d. So let's do it like this. v, x, and d. All right, so it's going to be d divided by all of this, which is uh, your v over root 2. Yeah, I think this is a bit of nasty algebra. Okay, and plus d all over minus v over root 2 plus uh, x squared. Ah, oh, I see what they did there. All right. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to make this considerably easier on us, all right? Because we already have what we need. Just, just look at this instead. Found the shortcut. I'm just going to keep it in terms of u1 and u2 for a minute. So it's going to be du2 plus du1 all over u1 by. Then it's going to be d bracket u2 plus u1 all over u1 by u2. Happy enough with that? What did we say u1 by u2 is earlier? x squared minus v squared. So it's uh, x squared minus v squared on the bottom. That makes life a lot easier. Then it's d on top. And we've got to add the two, the, two, uh, the two values together. What happens when we add u1 and u2 together? What cancels? Two of them cancel, don't they? And what we left with? Two of these, isn't it? So what's two of them? Two roots. X, X squared, what was it? Minus V squared over 2. Have we killed that? Oh, that's a V squared on the bottom, isn't it? Not V2, it's a V squared. Alright. Uh, do you want to tidy that up anymore? What could I do with the 2 on the outside? Yeah, I could just make it a four on the inside. I could change uh, I, I could change two into root four, and then multiply root four by any sort I want. So I'm just going to multiply four on the inside. So I'm going to get d by uh, what's a four x squared root four x squared. Uh, yeah, I do actually. Cheers. Minus. That's a 2v squared. And then... I don't think there's much else to be done, lads. What's the answer in the back look like? Let me see the answer in the back. Like, I have no reason not to stop there. So wherever the answer in the back is, it'll be a variation of what I have here. Well, that's it. Yeah, we're done. All right.